All right, one woman has been cashing in on Colorado's marijuana laws by marketing short-term rental properties just for pot smokers. And some neighbors, believe it or not, aren't happy about it. It turns into non-stop marijuana smoke. Many times I can't have my kids outside. Basically what we don't want is we don't want a hotel in the neighborhood. Uh, you think? But since recreational pot is legal in Colorado, is it okay for her to keep renting to marijuana smokers in a short-term situation? Joining us right now to debate it is uh, uh, attorney in studio Lisa Givanazzo and Mason Tavert is the director of communications for the Marijuana Policy Project Policy. Lisa, I can understand the neighbors are unhappy. Do they have a legal case? They will have a legal case. This is an example of Colorado not anticipating the problems. Now, you have a woman who's renting out a home, and she tells you, I, I bought these homes to rent to people to come to the establishments to smoke marijuana. She's using it as a business, but she's trying to avoid creating a commercial establishment. Mason, you have to feel you have to feel as though they had to be feel as though they're they're pushing the envelope with this new pot law and the rental, don't you think? Well, yeah, you know, this is really no different than if someone was renting out a property in a neighborhood for the Great American Beer Festival that attracts thousands of tourists every single year. I mean, this is really a zoning issue more than a marijuana issue, and uh, it'll be dealt with that way, but this really highlights the need to have establishments where tourists are able to go and use marijuana not being in a, na in right. a neighborhood, but more like being in a bar. Uh, Lisa Mason goes on to say the pot smokers are a lot less loud and obnoxious usually <laughs> than drinkers. Does he have a point? I, I doubt it because I think it came to light because people were complaining and, and people don't generally just complain when nothing is going on in their neighborhood. But his point is taken. You talk about a beer festival, but there's a lot of planning that goes into a beer festival. When you're going to display alcohol in certain neighborhoods, there's licensing requirements. You have to get approvals. So again, using right. Airbnb or something to... to to sell space right. where people can smoke marijuana, you got to get the commercial license. And, and there's Lisa, dram shop issues, things like that. And Lisa, you're talking about that's a, that's a big holiday. Every day is a holiday for pot smokers in Colorado. Especially in the well, Airbnb. <laughs> right, Mason? Real quick, final well, thought? I mean, every day is a, a huge booze fest in Colorado as well. The fact is, if people were leaving beer cans all over their porches, these people would be upset with that too. And that's a perfectly valid uh, concern. But it's just a fact that alcohol does result in aggressive and violent and dangerous behavior. And marijuana has never been found to contribute to that. You know, the bottom line is, if somebody rented a house next door to you and you knew they were renting it for right. a day and they would consume tremendous amounts of alcohol, that would be... Right the same problem. So right. it, it's really the same issue, and it shouldn't be happening in residential Just some of the many issues that come up when you legalize pot state by state. Everyone else take and notice. Alcohol. And, al and alcohol. Which is legal, uh, thanks to prohibition, which I believe is over. <laughs> Lisa and Mason, thanks so much. As is marijuana prohibition in Colorado. Okay, always have to get the last word. You must be very frustrated to argue with. All right, straight ahead. Up